This time, we go to the next window, design. It is the section about the piano construction. The piano tuner doesn't have access to these parameters, but the piano manufacturer can control them when he makes plans of the piano. For example, we see a list of settings concerning the soundboard. The soundboard is this large piece of wood, which serves as a resonator and that transmits the string vibrations to the air. Again, I take the middle C note. As it is in an ordinary piano. If I increase the soundboard impedance, it means that the soundboard becomes more rigid. It will take more time to transmit the string energy to the ambient air, and the sound will last longer. Let's listen to that. Conversely, I reduce now the impedance to an exaggerated low value. It is as if we had prepared the piano. It sounds as if you inserted some little objects between each string, as one actually does in contemporary music. So you can prepare your piano by adjusting all these parameters. Another interesting parameter is the string length. You know that one of the piano manufacturer's dreams is to make the longest piano ever produced. Why? Because of something called inharmonicity of the strings. That means each overtone is not exactly an integer multiple of the fundamental note. They are a bit higher than they should be. And this inharmonicity is seen as something unpleasant. Where does it come from? Either from short strings or thick ones. So typically, with an upright piano, inharmonicity is higher, especially with small pianos. That is why large grand pianos exist, that can measure up to 2.7 meters or even more. Here with Piano Tech, we are able to create a 10 meter long piano if we like. And in this case, inharmonicity is reduced and almost disappears. Does it sound better or not than a 2.7 meter piano? This is a matter of individual taste, aesthetics. We are going to listen to some extreme cases. We are about to try a low C, and then listen to the low C with a short string and a long string in a 10 meter sized piano. Normal C, a short piano. We compare these two previous sounds. Normal piano, the short one. The timbre changed. It is another sound, another color. At the extreme opposite, I compare a very long scaled piano. with the previous short-scaled piano. In this case, it is just a matter of personal taste. It can depend on many things. How you feel today, the weather, the music you play, and so on. To resume, it is one of the parameters the user can adjust to make and modulate his own piano. If you look at the three main windows at the top, they contain the many innovative features that we brought up in this software. It is the first one that comes up with all these settings. 
typique du fait qu'il y a une modélisation. Euh, Their presence is typical from the fact that there is physical modeling behind it. Donc si 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 vous voulez. If you like to quickly experiment some new sounds, we introduced a random button. Le, le random qui veut dire aléatoire. Et donc, And then each time you press it, all parameters will be set to random values. On voit d'ailleurs à l'écran ici. We see on the screen that all the sliders changed. Well, it is not the best we can get. Then we try again. Ah, this one is much more interesting. Another one. A ducky sound. What is this instrument? I don't really know. This is a virtual instrument. It lives in a virtual world. This is a modeled piano, deformed, beyond the reality, beyond what is possible to do. To conclude, this is a sound creation tool.